So, I don't know where I'm, oh, I'm wearing my watch. That's how messed up I am. It's five in the afternoon. And I'm sitting here thinking, I no longer, you can see how much light I'm living by. Everything else is dark. I no longer, uh, when I first got here, I would put all my lights on and burn them for 24 hours. My TV would be up. I was living normal, walking around like I didn't have a care in the world. Now I sit here in silence, surrounded by cameras, waiting for the inevitable. <coughs> <coughs> I eat in silence. I sneak around like a ninja. I sit here in silence every day. You can see my TV's not playing. I'm watching it, but I'm not listening to it. I'm listening to all the creaks and pops of the house between the landlady's crazy ass downstairs slamming every door she has. I mean, uh, to, to it rattles the whole house, wakes you up anyway. To uh, Josh just got home, put his beer in the refrigerator and crept off to his room. You can hear all that now because there's no sounds in here. They've, they've turned my whole life into, you know, one creepy fucking nightmare that I have to sit here and listen and wait for, you know, John the Terrorizer to get home. This morning he woke up at 4.55. I had to get up with him because he's, he, there's no, it's impossible for him to be quiet. Boom, 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 boom. 17 trips back and forth to the bathroom. Then the last two he ran down outside, outside, whistled to somebody, came back up about maybe three to five minutes later either punched my doorknob so hard that I about jumped out of my skin or hit it with his uh, wrist, whatever whatever he does. I don't know what he does, but he does it on a regular basis. He drops shit in front of my door, sneezes, coughs, you know, bodily noises. It has to be in front of my door because he can't do it in his room or the bathroom or, or anywhere else, just in front of my door. That's when he's not gagging, brushing his teeth in the kitchen, and it sounds like a fucking water buffalo spraying water everywhere. <laughs> you know, with the door open, he's waking up Josh and me. And the whole house. Uh, so he finally left around. I, th I forget what time he left. He did this for an hour. 17 trips in one hour. I think it was like 6.30 I think he left. And I haven't heard him since. But you're sitting here in anticipation waiting. Because you know the motherfucker is going to be home. You know he's going to start his shit. What he usually does is. You can see it's hot in here. We have a big. I, I don't know if you can see it. But let me see. There we go. We have a big, I have a big radiator. It's one of those old-fashioned uh, uh, round kind with water in it, and it gets so stinking hot in here that I leave my window open. My window's open with the fan blowing on me, the cold air, because it it uh, dissipates the heat that the, generates from that damn uh, old-fashioned heater, which dries out my lungs and makes my asthma ten times worse. So I have to either put a pan of water on it so it creates moisture in the air or just leave my window open. I just choose to leave the water op uh, window open because running to the kitchen for water is when John's home is just not in the, you know, foreseeable future unless he leaves. So here I sit with, you know, with, with ang anxiety and panic attacks. I'm, I'm texting his PO every day. I'm texting a friend of mine so she prays this guy away so God would take him out of my life. He makes it impossible to take a shit, shower, or shave when he's here. When he's not here, I sit in anticipation wondering if he's going to pop out of the woodwork like some bizarre jack-in-the-box, you know, John Wayne Gacy type, probably wearing a clown uh, outfit. The guy's the weirdest, creepiest fucking dude I ever met. And uh, the reason I mention the window is because every night he announces his presence, either kicking the garbage can, hitting it with a stick, punching it, slamming the lid, or last night, uh, two nights ago or three nights ago, he threw a rock up at, at the window. He and then he he immediately comes upstairs, so you know who it is. He's just announcing his his presence. And then uh, last night he was down there rustling bags and and just being a dick. And then he came right up the steps, so I knew it was him. Then you can hear him putting his food away in the refrigerator. So he comes under my window every night to check to see if, what, I'm here? I, d I don't know why he has to come under my window, but it's like he cannot not stalk you. It's kind of weird. So then, you know, I, day after day I sit here wondering, okay, what's he going to do next? What's he going to play next? What head games is he going to play? And that's in between when he is home, knocking on the wall, banging shit against the wall, banging shit on the floor, playing Rocky, uh, we're getting dumber now, over and over on repeat. The guy's just insane. But his door open. Then when he gets a phone call, he opens his door so I can hear his part of the conversation while he screams into the phone and wakes me up over and over. 
He's caused sleep deprivation. He follows me to church. I haven't been to church in weeks. I haven't taken my insulin in weeks or my medications in weeks. But yeah, you know, because I can't get on a schedule. I can't get on a sleep schedule to where I can get up every morning at 9 a.m. and take it. I could set an alarm, but why should I have to change any part of my life because of this one kook? Why can't they take care of him permanently? I don't understand this. So I'm sitting in the dark, and I'm listening to, like I said, I can hear a mouse chewing in the wall. I can hear Josh sneaking around with his beer. I can hear, you know, the landlady creeping around. She was up here, I think, once or twice. It is insane here. It's like, you know, every time I hear a door open, first I cringe, and then the, the Adams Family music starts in my head. They're creepy, and they're kooky, mysterious, and spooky. I mean, I am going literally insane here by these people. I laugh because if I don't laugh, I'm going to jump head first out the window window. I have piss bottles in here to avoid the man. I have to dump him when he leaves. And I do that on a sneak tip. I ninja to the bathroom. I have to ninja to the sink, ninja to the microwave. It is insane here. I just bought three burritos today at the store because I snuck out early this morning after he left, went to Redner's quick, bought some food and brought it back here so I can hole up. It's ridiculous. I'm most likely going to eat them cold and just dump hot sauce on them because there ain't using there there ain't no use in the microwave it's ridiculous so there's my 6 minute vlog for the day